got this Ableton Live Light session open of a song I eventually titled On a Lark. I want to make this video for a couple reasons, and just as a demo of how I go about producing a piece of music. And I wanted to do a bass cover of a song I only technically played on. I'll tell you what that means in a minute. First, I just want to go through some of the basic parts. These, these, this is a very stripped down version. I took this stuff and all, and I eventually went into. Um, reaper to fill out the the rest of the song but this was just the basic ideas so i started with that little rhythm there and i'm sure there's some kind of uh, afro-cuban kind of clave influence there but i'm not really learned in that area <laughs> And that was the the original intro. And uh, what I liked about this bass part over the clave like rhythm is that the the bass part is a six sixteenth note space loop of a part that I uh, improvised. I'll I'll show you that in a little bit. The hi hat rhythm itself it starts on the second sixteenth note. So by the time this comes around. So you got this thing going where like, where's the one? And I kind of wanted to leave that, get that rhythmic ambiguity until the uh, the rest of the song came in and we finally like relax because it kind of keeps you unsettled. And that's basically the, the main part of the song. So you'll you'll hear it'll start off with the, the main bass line. And then we get the acoustic part by itself for the first time. And then, then we'll do just one time through of the uh, bass part with the acoustic guitar over it. And then we'll get our first, uh, first variation of the main rhythm, but just, or two bars, not a full four bar and then right back into it without the uh, without the acoustic guitar there so we have the the variation of the rhythm for two bars and then we have two bars of just the main bass part and then the new rhythm and then the guitar comes back in and the regular beat comes back in at the same time And then a third, third bass line. For the first time you hear it, it's under the main rhythm. And then the rhythm variation comes in. And it's just, you know, you, the idea is I have different combinations of things. And every time you hear something, even though it's not a new part, it's in a different context every time. And that was kind of the idea behind that. But that's the basic skeleton of the arrangement. So I'm gonna go into this Reaper. And I found all the original files and I put them all up here. Here's the, uh, that's the uh, acoustic guitar. But um, what I really wanna show you cause this video is about the bass is the bass improvisations that I ended up chopping up and putting into the uh, the main bass parts. And 
I'm just gonna skip through this one. This was the first. And as you can hear, I'm starting to uh, get an idea of what I want. So I recorded that one at full tempo and I didn't really care for much of anything that I got from that one. So the next thing I did was uh, I slowed the tempo down. I think I went down to 90, but it might have been even been slower. This was the next attempt. And I'm sure that sounded familiar, but uh, I had it right there, but I kept going. I didn't know it at the time. Anyway, so we'll just zoom in on that. And if that sounded familiar, that was the end, the third part of the, the arrangement. What I ended up doing was that is where that 616th note loop came from. I just chopped that off. And looped it. And that became the first part. I did that and thought to myself, well, that's not enough to base an entire song on. So I got grabbed the bass again and started another track and some new kind of ideas. And for some reason, I changed the sound of the bass. I don't know why I did that. I don't remember. There was something there. But um, I didn't end up taking anything from that one. So I tried again. So, took this one, and I thought, hey, that sounds cool. Put that there. And I thought, And that became the main bass line of the entire song, just like that. And uh, I tried to learn this, even at this tempo, and I thought I did a decent job until I started to try and re-record it recently, because I, I felt like my bass chops have gotten good enough where I could play this up to tempo. And I thought I had it down, or at least close enough, and then I, I recorded it and listened to back to it, and I was like, no, that's not... <laughs> That's not close enough. You gotta learn it exactly. One of the interesting things I found is, um, one of the things I find pretty difficult is, um, if you listen here, 
That's one phrase there. That first uh, section there goes. So basically, I'm starting, I'm ending one little f section of the phrase on one note, and then I'm starting the next section on the same note. And I find that when I do that, it's very difficult for me to relearn that because my fingers always want to go move to a different note for the start of the next section. And it's, uh, it's really hard for me to hear those things. So it's like when I hear those things in my improvising, I wonder where that comes from. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I, the, one of the things I, want, I wanted to do this is it's like if anybody's hearing this bass line and can tell me what... Uh, what what was uh where wherever that came from in my head i'm not sure uh what what my inspiration was for that what what i was thinking about what kind of influences came uh it came out of uh, that's still a complete mystery to me cuz i still you know the creative process even though i'm uh I'm I'm the one doing it. It's still uh it's still kind of mysterious to me about where where this so if you if you if you're hearing this and hearing somebody's playing in it, let me know cuz uh I really want to know where the where what inspired me my subconscious to come up with something like that. That's that was one of the other reasons I wanted to make this video. So leave me a comment, please. Now that I got that out of the way, I'll uh, get right into my bass cover. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna promise I'm gonna do it in one take, but I will promise I'm not gonna fix a shitty tr sounding track and time align everything. I may do some small fixes, but it's mostly gonna be up to tempo, and you're gonna hear what I'm playing. All right, I promise you that. Let's get right to it. 